Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me you can see I'm surrounded by Salford Halo VRTs. We've got a 35 footer here that just arrived. We don't even have the baskets on it yet. We've got a 20 and a couple 30s here behind me. Um, I want to turn this camera around. I've had a lot of questions about horsepower requirements. Uh, what does a 35 footer look like when it's folded? Let's turn this thing around and dig into the VRT. These tools have become uh, one of the hottest topics that we're faced with every day. Um, you know, we get calls from all over, hey, what's this VRT? I'm hearing a lot about it, and it's for good reason. Um, and it, this isn't just another high speed disc. Um, you know, I have a lot of people comparing them. Well, my neighbor had a high speed disc for a little while and, uh, and he sold it. Well, this is a lot different than what your neighbor had. Um, this tool can be uh, adjusted on the fly. You, know, you, can, you can see here, each blade is independent of the other. Salford has always been that way. Every blade has got its own uh, down pressure uh, cushion system. And so every blade is independent. So when it comes to changing blades or anything like that, it's a simple job. There's no dealing with yanks. Like for example, it's easy to show you here. This is a module. So all of these blades are mounted on this module and this module, it's adjustment mechanism is right here in this cylinder. So this module is linked with this module and as the cylinder expands and retracts, it changes the angle of that module. And uh, so they're still independent, but yet able to be fully adjustable. That, that's kind of the big secret uh, or, or the, big, the big thing on these VRTs. Um, these bearings inside of this hub are non-greasable bearings. Um, that's been a request that guys seem to enjoy. Um, on this 35 footer, there is a section of blades here in the back. That is unique to the 35 foot tool. Uh, the 20s and uh, 25s and 30s do not possess that, that uh, the ability to, to have those in the back. It has to be that way in order for it to remain narrow transport. But here's another great view of the, the module system. There's the cylinder as it expands and retracts. It changes the blade angle uh, here of these. So this is a 35 footer. Of course, we have not put the baskets on yet because it just arrived the other day off the truck. This is what one looks like. Uh, this is a uh, 25, no, I lied. This is a 30 footer. Um, and of course, it's got the baskets on it. It's got the adjustable gauge wheels here on the end. And up front here center, we've got down pressure gauge for the rolling basket, down pressure for the wings. So we have a lot of people say that they might own some other vertical tillage tools and they can't get them to go in the ground. Well, we won't have a problem getting these in the ground because we can, we can put down uh, up to 2000 PSI on the wings and we can put up to uh, 800 or 1200 PSI down on the baskets, uh, which do a lot of the job of finishing uh, on these tools. So we've showed you the 35, this is a 30, and now here's a 20. A 20, of course, is just more compact. Uh, it folds just on this center uh, mount right there in the front. and. Uh, Another really nice feature I like about this one, this one's a little dirty because we put it to work, is the easy to adjust uh, depth gauge. You know, you just simply turn that knob and you can slide this bar uh, up and down to move wherever you want your depth to be. So really nice and, and easy uh, to adjust. Everything is easy to use. The gauges are super easy to read. There's the, the angle gauge, and then this is the, or I'm sorry, that is the tip gauge. 
and this is the angle gauge of what angle you're running at. So, so we've got those 20, and then here's a couple more right here. Uh, another, um, this is a 30, and then uh, that is also a 30 over there as well. So um, I wanna show you something over here on this 30. It's got this box in the front with this rocker switch on it. Um, and it comes up here and it has got, if I can find it, right here. It's got this controller plug. What this is, this is the joystick option. And that's what's in this box. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the uh, adjustment in, in the hydraulics. We're going from five hydraulics down to four when we go to the joystick. And it allows us to have a joystick handheld up in the cab where we can control all of our functions handheld. We're, it's basically electric over hydraulic and we can do all these with a joystick. So super handy, hydraulic jack on them. Um, so yeah, here at uh, Coldwater, Ohio at the new shop, we are the house of halos and uh, we've got them in stock and ready to go for spring. So that's the down low on the VRTs and give us a call this spring if you want to see one of these on your farm. Thanks for tuning in.